Hi, this is Eileen Garza, and we're going to take another walk through the use of our curriculum access tools to show how they can be used in the context of your classroom. So today's lesson is going to be looking at revising and editing using CoWriter. You might recall that CoWriter is a word prediction program that, that is provided throughout the district to all students and faculty as part of our curriculum access tools and it is represented by this uh, cloud up here in your extension toolbar. It's automatically loaded for our students in their extensions but teachers have to go to the Chrome store and download and install it should they want to do that. But it is available for free so you would just go to the Google Chrome store and look up CoWriter Universal and download it and install it into your uh, toolbar. My icon is black right now, which means that the program is turned off. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on and it should turn purple. And I'm going to go ahead and bring up my um, document and, that I want and. to edit. So in this case, the student wrote the document without using CoWriter. And I can tell that because there are a number of misspellings there in my Google document and I want to try and fix that. So first thing I'm going to do is listen to my sentence that I wrote and I will do that by highlighting it and then going to co-write speak. I went on vacation with my friends. We found a get. We opened a get but there are WS monsters. Okay so that we know doesn't sound right. We also have the visual clue that there are some red squiggly lines there. So let's see if we can try and fix it. You can see mm -hmm. my co-writer board, my co-writer um, screen is right here. And I'm going to click in here. And look what happens to the co-writer screen. We can now see a new series of words that I might have wanted to put in there instead of went, because went does not work in that location. So let's listen to our words by hovering. Went. Want. Won't. Wind. Wind. So, winter. So I went. want went. So I'm going to hit the number one. Went. And it corrected it. So then I'm going to go, I went on vacation. Oh, I see my red squiggly. I'm going to click this and look what happens here. And I can hit my one again. Vacation. Friends, 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 found. And we can go ahead yeah. and make the corrections and revisions to our gate composition. There. You can see each time it's the first word. Isn't that cool? And look, this one, it predicted it in line. So if we hit the two, was it's going to fix it. No. And it knows this word doesn't make sense in here. So Wait. we can just delete it. And monsters is okay. So now I can listen to it again. Highlight it. Right click. Co-writer speak. I went on vacation with my friends. We found a gate. We opened the gate, but there was monsters. Now I can listen to that and then also figure out that maybe I might want to put some punctuation in there, that there's a run on sentence. But, you know, again, that depends on the particular student and what they are working on as far as their composition goes. But you can see that this production is a far cry better than the original composition that was provided to, by the student. And that is one of the ways that you can use CoWriter to do revision and editing.